If your kids ride the school bus in Iowa, some things are about to change. KCAU 9's Tasia Nevels explains a new law designed to make Iowa school buses safer. She joins us live from the newsroom. That's our top story tonight at 6. Tasia, what did you learn? Rebecca, in 2019, the National Transportation Safety Board recommended lap shoulder seat belts for all new school buses. That recommendation is now law in Iowa and is it about to go into effect. Just from my you know, experience on being on school buses, there's kids up there running around. That experience may change for students now that a new state law is requiring lap and shoulder belts on all Iowa school buses. And this is just supplementing that, that commitment to safety. We're not saying, and the Department of Education is not saying that school buses are not safe. They are. The new law goes into effect October 2nd, and it will require all Iowa school districts to have the seat belts on buses purchased after that date. Yeah, the, any of the buses that that are in the in the school fleets now don't have to be retrofitted. It's only going to be for new purchases. Just the thought of a big old school bus with a bunch of kids in there that aren't seat belted in scares me. I mean, it's it's no different than you having a suburban full of kids and you're not seat belting your kids. It's against the law. So. I think it's for the best. The new law also carries other safety additions. They include handrails and a stop arm sign near the back of each school bus. They're going to be able to see that they do need to come to a complete stop. They can't just uh, slow down and go around a bus. You have to come to a complete stop. Parent Alexandria Hornoff says the seat belts and stop signs are just half of the solution if other drivers don't do their part. I don't really think it matters how big it is or where it is. I think it's just People need to pay attention. People need to care about the fact that there's a stop sign there. You have to listen to it. Nationwide, between the year 2016 to 2015, there were 301 school-aged children killed in school bus crashes. In the newsroom, Tasia Nevels, KCAU 9 News.